I have known Rabbi Mintz for 15 years. He has celebrated simchas and life events with us. My family and I have seen the growth in his congregation. We feel close to him and his family. Chabad of Bel Air has always been inclusive and welcoming to us. I love the rabbi and he is often on my mind. Shabbat dinner with he and Charna and the kids is always a treat. The conversations are always stimulating and frank. And the food is terrific. I'm still bugging Linda to learn how Charna makes her garlic challah. The rabbi is truly an authority on all things Jewish. I know that we will get an accurate and honest answer to any questions regarding Jewish laws and customs. The rabbi is always accessible. He even goes out of his way to be. Whether it's a phone call about Mark Twain's views about the Jewish people, or information about the reasons behind the performance of Jewish rituals at holiday time, the rabbi can always be counted on. Several years ago, my family and I were visiting New York during the winter. When the rabbi learned that we were there, he called us and made arrangements to fly from LA to meet us and then took us on an emotional and inspiring visit to Chabad headquarters in Crown Heights, followed by a visit to the Rebbe's grave during a blizzard. During a blizzard? It was an experience that we won't ever forget. How many rabbis do you know that would do something like this? Rabbi Mintz makes you feel good about being Jewish. In fact, his life is a joyous celebration of, as he likes to put it, Yiddishkeit. It is this joyous celebration that allows for the diversity of people and families within the congregation. My family doesn't practice a strict orthodoxy, but we celebrate Shabbat and the holidays and emphasize our togetherness as a Jewish family. The rabbi has never been critical about what we don't do, but has always been supportive of what we do. That attitude has allowed us to grow even more from a Jewish perspective. The rabbi is also a pretty good diplomat. He even knew how to handle my late father-in-law when during our early years together, Papa Sheldon would test him by challenging his methods of conducting services or his views on how holidays should be celebrated. His skillful and kindly and respectful ways of responding to my father-in-law paid off as Papa Sheldon grew to love and respect and trust him. In short, my family and I connect with the rabbi on a number of levels, ethically, intellectually, and above all, in our value systems, valuing the opportunities for mitzvot and tikkun olam. The rabbi is not in his business for self-aggrandizement. Rather, he is doing what he does for the sheer love of spreading Jewish values and a Jewish way of life for those around him. And while we are celebrating our terrific rabbi, let's take a second to wish him a very, very happy birthday, which fell on Friday, two days before Purim. Rabbi Yom Haledeh Sameach. <laughs>